In this video, I'm going to talk about saturation and vibrance, or the two ways in Lightroom, or two of the ways, to play with the colors and make them more vibrant or bright, or a little less vibrant and more desaturated. So this is a cool picture to play around with the saturation slider, which is under your basic tools tab down here on the right and at the bottom you just have saturation. Pretty simple, you increase it, it's more saturated, decrease it, it's less saturated. And if you go all the way to negative 100, you have a black and white image. So let me show you a different photo just to give you a better idea of what this can actually do. So I'm just going to take off the clarity there. And if this has no saturation, although I've added a bit of contrast using the tone curve, which actually adds some, some saturation due to the contrasting of colors, I haven't added any contrast in, or any saturation in any other way. So if I take this saturation slider up, you can see that the colors become even more pronounced. Go down, this becomes still an interesting photo, but not as interesting as this photo where these lights were just the light from the sun shining through a stained glass window. It's pretty crazy. So the difference between saturation and vibrance, which does a similar thing, so if I increase the vibrance, you can see this. Vibrance is basically a smart saturation where it makes colors that it thinks are less muted more vibrant. And the colors that it thinks are already saturated and very colorful it doesn't affect those. So as you can see, it's really playing with these blues down here, and it's not as much playing with the greens up above. And again, if I go down, even to 100, there's still some colors left. So that's not the slider that you would use to make it black and white. Let's go over to this one just to see what Vibrance does. So Vibrance really pops those blues and the greens and the trees and our shirt colors. Whereas if I do saturation, everything is increased. And I don't want our faces to increase that like that. But with vibrance, it doesn't increase the saturation of our face the way that saturation does. See, it makes our faces red, so that's not good. But let me just go back to this photo because I think it's a cool way to end this lesson, which is a pretty simple lesson about saturation. I want to make it black and white. I'm going to increase the exposure a lot, maybe even boost the highlights, drop the blacks, boost the whites, drop the shadows, and as you can see kind of what I'm getting at, this is kind of a cool, very cool effect that I sort of thought about when I took this photo, uh, just with the statues and the shadows, I thought this would be a great black and white photo. Um, and maybe if I could get it on a t-shirt someday, I think that would be super cool. Anyways, that is how you play with saturation and vibrance, and that's the difference. And go use it. Start playing with your own photos and playing with vibrance and saturation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.